Hi everyone, I'm Nicole Killian coming to you from our Washington DC Bureau. It's good to be with you. Thanks for joining us. Here's a look at some of the stories we're watching right now. It's primary day with voters in Florida, New York, and Oklahoma choosing who will be on the ballot for November's midterm elections. The results in all three states could have major implications for both parties. We've got reporters on the ground to break down the key matchups. And a federal jury convicts two men of conspiring to kidnap Democratic Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer in 2020. Adam Fox and Barry Croft face a maximum sentence of life in prison. The pair were also convicted of one count of conspiracy to use weapons of mass destruction. Plus, the National Archives reveals it has identified more than 100 documents of classified material from its initial review of White House records collected from former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence earlier this year. Our Robert Costa is in West Palm Beach, Florida, with the latest. Plus, the U.S. urges Americans to leave Ukraine immediately over fears of renewed Russian attacks. The latest warnings from the federal government ahead of Ukraine's Independence Day. And later this hour, Twitter's former security head alleges the social media platform has major security flaws. We'll hear from his attorney who explains why other Internet users should be aware of the online risks. But first, we begin tonight with voters heading to the polls for key races in three states. The outcome of these races will be shaped in terms of the future of both parties heading into the midterms. Voters are casting ballots in New York, Florida, and Oklahoma.